Um, if I ever say the words, hi, welcome back to my channel, please, somebody call me out in the comments. I just got a one thing I said I didn't want to do. Just like I also don't want to buy a Stanley cup. I have my reasons. This week has been all about the closet. The home renovation projects will be fun. They said, you can make it your own. They said, they said a lot of things, but they have never tried to redo an entire closet with pieces from Ikea. And honestly, neither have I. I'm not doing any of the work. David has been doing a lot of the work. This guy really bet me that he could build an entire closet in one night. In the meantime, all of the crap that was in our closet is now scattered about this room. It is thrown off my morning routine. Baby sister has been sick and it's been cold. Okay, I'm fragile up here when it comes to the weather. I just wanna wear my pretty, pretty dresses. So we're just making it through, but at the end of this, hopefully we'll have a nice closet. So um, yeah, let's get to it. It is very late and we're going to take on the biggest house project ever. This closet looks atrocious. Is it the worst closet you've ever seen? Probably not, but it's in desperate need of some organization. But I bet David that he couldn't do it in one night. And you know, men. So the bet is if David can build this whole closet in one night, he gets a new pair of shoes he's been wanting. Let's just see how this goes. There's so much stuff in there. <laughs> this is never gonna work. I don't really have to do any of the manual labor. I just have to take stuff out. Okay, now that's a little dramatic. This is a lot. There's nothing easy about being forced to see all of the junk you've stuffed away in your closet. And this tiny room has been forced to hold more than just clothes. We've got keepsakes, the random nice boxes that I have trouble throwing away. And honestly, just a bunch of other random clutter. And I know we probably should have had a plan for how we want to handle this, but right now I'm just focused on getting this closet empty and I'm sorting all of this stuff into piles. My favorite activity. Most of David's piles are gonna be made up of shoes. He has a lot. And most of my piles are gonna be made up of dresses. If there's anything that I would say I collect, it's dresses. This is a humbling experience. But I do think it's important to note that I keep all of my clothes out, like summer and winter clothes. I haven't stored any off-season clothes away. So this is everything. And yes, that was my attempt at trying to make myself feel better about this hoard. It's not mine. <laughs> David's taking the lead on all the construction stuff, but isn't it great to be an adult knowing you can just rip out your baseboards at any time? I have this thing. I hate baseboards. I don't know their purpose. All I do is collect dust, so I am not sad to see them go. But I will have to go through this entire wardrobe piece by piece to get rid of some of these things. I definitely don't wear all of these, so something's gonna go. Okay, so how do we get rid of our clothes? It's surprisingly sentimental, but I use the tried and true Marie Kondo method. I like to touch every piece, the fabric, remember how it fits me. If I can't even remember how it fits me, that means I haven't worn it and it's time to go. And I think it's good to do this in a position of gratitude, to say thank you to each piece that you have worn and then appreciate all the empty hangers you have left. It's getting pretty late over here and I think I have made a good dent in my giveaway pile. I filled up about two trash bags. So we'll get back at this tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day, the day after our closet construction. Would you like to see the closet? Mm. So nice. Um, where's the rest of it? Just one. I win. But who's the real winner here? Because now my closet is empty and my room is a disaster. I just have to keep telling myself that it's a process. Trust the process, right? David knows what he's doing. And here we are at the end of day two. Two squares. And this is my pain as a control freak because do I know how to build these boxes? No, but I have to deal with how slow David's moving. To be absolutely fair, we were not even home the whole day. David's only worked on this for like another hour or so. It looks great. This is, this is going to look good when it's done. Anyways, by the third or fourth day, he's actually made a lot of progress. So today I think all we have, all he, all we, I'm not doing any of the work yet. All he has to do is like add the shelves. Unfortunately, a few things are out of stock. The hangers that we need to hang all of our clothes. <laughs> so 
Laundry has taken a hit because I don't have a lot of place to put my clothes and it's just been a little bit crazy. But I'm willing to put up with a little bit of craziness because the end result really was worth it and David did an amazing job. I surely could never have followed instructions this well. I could tell that he was really proud of his work because he took his time explaining all of the storage solutions to me and made extra sure that I would have enough space to hang all of my dresses. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a fine process. My job is coming shortly. My job will be to organize everything in that closet and to buy baskets. I love buying baskets. Um, I don't really have a plan though. I'm not that type of person. We're gonna go and be led by our emotions, which usually is a terrible idea, but I don't have anything left. Um, okay, I just wanted to let you know that the, um, our morning routine went out the window. I woke up at seven. The closet is finished. I'm very excited to put stuff back in there. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'll be out there in a minute, okay? It's 8.30. I, I didn't even wash my face last night. It's cold, it's 28 degrees outside, and I didn't pay for this. I don't know what it is, but I can feel a slump coming on. I think maybe this room has affected me for too long. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is pick some of the comfiest things that I could find. Do I have something on my teeth? Okay, no. I'm gonna wear some comfy socks. I also got this new hat. I got a nice big pink sweatshirt and some comfy jeans. I'm gonna take a shower so quick that these kids aren't even gonna notice that I'm gone. But everybody noticed I was gone. There was lots of screaming. I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair when there are literally no options. Can we just adjust to do this right here? Uh. You might get a little wet, okay? Dripping, dripping down my arm. Uh, just... This is exactly why I try to wake up an hour before my kids. Maybe I can just do that. She gets a little clingy, but she's not feeling well. I mean, I know how to multitask, but have you tried putting on mascara with a screaming baby on your hip? Here, you can have the brush now, and I like the brush. I'm gonna do two braids. You don't wanna see all that. It's gonna take a while. But I am counting my blessings because okay. Daniel is pretty good at independent play. Daniel, you okay? Good, I heard a yes. Now my hat. Um, this is from Lindsay Girk, and she now she has her whole flamingo thing. Get your pink back. So, um, you know, flamingos when they become mommies, they lose some of their pink, um, but they do get it back. So it's just a good, me powerful message about <laughs> surviving motherhood and then um, finding yourself. And I could use that message today. Also, I never go anywhere without a pair of gold hoops. But actually, I'm gonna take this hat off and do some makeup. You did a great job playing. You did job eating a snack. Uh huh. Where are we going? No. Oh. We go to the mall. No. My eyeliner isn't even dry yet, and I'm already overstimulated. Stop it. I don't think this deep breathing is working. Which means we have one option. We're gonna go do something out of this house. When I come back, you and me are gonna tackle the closet. Okay, goodbye. Whoa! I almost didn't make it. It's 1.19. We went to the park and then to Target. All I'm gonna say is I think baby sister needs to take a morning nap. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna do as much as I can. There are still some hanging shelves missing. Hopefully we'll get those in tonight. I've gotta to make the bed. Get some light in here. <sighs> There's always time to have a better day. Even if you don't believe it. I'm saying it. I believe it. I'm saying it. I believe it. I'm saying it. I, I think we've it. all been there. I believe it. I try hard not to tie my productivity to my happiness, but I'm hoping that by clearing a little bit of the chaos off of the floor in my room, 
I'll have some space to breathe. Okay, and I know what you're thinking. This is a weird way to hang up clothes and I thought it was interesting too, but this is the only option that comes with this size of build-in from Ikea. But if these racks aren't overstuffed, it should be really easy to kind of flip through these dresses to see what I wanna wear. Another really cool storage feature are these pull-out pants racks. Now, I don't really wear slacks a whole lot, but it's nice to have an alternative to just putting them on a hanger. I'm also not a huge jeans person, but I fully believe that jeans can be folded and there's no reason to put them on a hanger. Also, now that the space is so completely defined in this closet, meaning certain things have to go in certain places, I'm gonna have to work out my shoe situation. If I think about the shoes that I wear the most, it's definitely sneakers. I will wear sneakers with anything, including dresses. So I'm gonna keep my favorite pairs within reach and the rest I'm gonna shove up top. But after I do the shoes, I don't have a whole lot of energy left. So I'm gonna take a little scroll break and a nap before I get to my last task which are the swimsuits. I think swimsuits are annoying. I never know where to put them in the off season and I always end up losing a bottom or a top piece. I'm calling it for the day. Oh, cute. Ooh, so pretty. Definitely broke all my rules. Usually in a big project like this, I'm not gonna take on more than I can do in an hour, but there's a clear path from this seat to my bed. I'm not gonna waste any more energy on this closet project for today because I have to survive until 8 p.m. bedtime. And that seems to be more important. I think we're gonna go take a walk because we could use some sunshine. Okay, bye. Our last big day of work just was for David to get a lot of his shoes in here. We got some clothing racks in, but some of them are still out of stock. So we're just gonna have to make do. And since I'm really gonna only be able to hang in season clothes in my closet, I got a good storage solution for under the bed. And while these will definitely help clear up space, it doesn't really help me determine what season we're actually in. I don't know if I should bring out my sweaters or put them away or bring out my sundresses. What's going on, North Carolina? But at least it's good to know I have a solution when the seasons actually do change. And these are from Amazon. They came in a pack of two and they fit perfectly under the bed. I could fit a lot more too. Well, if you made it this far, then thank you very much for sticking with me during a very rough week. I've got a few other tiny little things I can do in here, but it's much better than what I had before. So let's just be thankful for that. I'm feeling good again. I can see all of my dresses. Um, most of these are rentals, by the way. They have to go back at the end of the month. But this was a very good learning experience. And while we might have saved a lot of money, um, as opposed to using like a contractor, um, it did not save us any time or stress. Oh, gosh, I don't know how I would rate this whole experience. The only thing this closet is missing is a snack drawer, a tiny fridge, <gasps> a tiny fridge. So I can come in here and relax and hide from my kids because this will probably be the cleanest, most organized place in my house for a long time. What's my next big project gonna be? We're just working our way through this house one closet at a time. I've got like two more linen closets that look terrible and are not functional right now. Thankfully, they're not all gonna require a facelift like this one needed. Just a few baskets will usually do the trick. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this new long form content. I'm so excited to make more things and show you my every regular day, boring, boring life. This was a peak though. I don't know how much more exciting it gets than a new closet. And you take it easy, do some laundry or not. You're so supportive in the comments and I cannot tell you how much that means to me. And I'll see you next week for our next domestic adventure. Something less labor intensive, all right? Have a fantastic week. I think I'll take a nap in here. Love you guys. No, I think it's fine. <laughs>